More than 150 firefighters are still battling that wildfire in Spicewood. It's been uh, roaring through the area for three days, even shut down a portion of Highway 71 for a time. The highway is back open, and as Jacqueline and Glaze tells us, some residents are now returning home to see what's left. A handful of residents are being let back into their homes, but this is what they're coming back to. It almost looks like I'm on the set of Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. It's something you would think of in your wildest dreams, but not anywhere you'd want to call home. For dozens of Spicewood residents, going home is not an option. 67 structures were lost in this wildfire that's been ripping through the area for three days. The fire is now 80% contained, but hot spots are popping up all over. Damage is extensive. The fire taking down anything in its path, even power lines. Areas like Fall Creek Estates and Paleface Ranch are still so dangerous, people who live there can't go home. We're working with an uh, electric company to secure the power, make sure the power's back on and everything's safe. At this point in time, we're not sure how safe it is, and we can't let people back in the neighborhoods. The concern now for the rest of the day is flare-ups and hot spots. Once fire crews have those under control, at that point, they say all residents who are evacuated should be back in their homes. That could happen as early as 7 o'clock tonight. In Spicewood, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News.